Good morning. Good morning, Pipers. I am on the allotments. Uh, it is very early in the morning and <coughs> I would love to have had time this morning to uh, spend uh, smoking a pipe um, but I needed to come to the uh, allotments and water water our plot <laughs> because uh, it's summer and uh, the the uh, the temperature gets very hot during the day and you uh, you're at risk of losing plants and them all kind of dying if you you don't uh, water them enough so <coughs> quite often we have to come or one of us has to come early in the morning and do the watering and then maybe one will come in the evening or both of us depending on how tired we are and all the rest of it anyway I'm on the allotments and I thought I can water the plants uh, I can have a little walk and be amongst all the, the trees and the, the bushes and uh, all the plots and everything like that. But I thought I would do a VR to uh, Pipe Smoker Wales, to Dan, who has just uh, had his uh, 200 subs and uh, he uh, has got a competition and he wants to know what do you look for in a pipe. So. I thought that was uh, I thought that was going to be a very easy thing to answer, and maybe maybe it's just my way of uh, processing things. But I really started to uh, overthink it. I guess you could say, oh, here's a path. So I think it's always the way with such simple questions that they end up being quite complex when you uh, when you actually uh, sort of think about them and uh, get into them but I think there are certain things that I would say that I look for in a pipe um, for whatever reason I really like the kind of rusticated finish so this little poker pipe this Dagna poker, poker pipe is a kind of ideal representation of uh, what I like in a pipe it's also compact you can see it's quite a stubby little pipe um, there's just just something about the, the the kind of purposefulness of of a pipe like this that i think is is just really great so that is a good what i call a pocket pipe i can put that in a in a pocket i can um carry that uh, and what i do is i uh, i have like a a case i've got like this little uh, fleecy sunglasses case and I can put my matches um, my little tamper a zippo lighter and a compact pipe like this into that pouch and everything's together I don't have to keep looking for it uh, I can just put it in my pocket and I can find it if I need it and that's great so for me a pipe that is compact robust um, nice to hold so the rusticated finish is something that I can feel because of the uh, the nerve damage that I've got in my arm and I have kind of pins and needles so for me it's uh, it's nice to have something that's quite tactile I do like the aesthetics of um, some smooth pipes but the I, I wouldn't get the feel so for me the rusticated finish has more than one element it also means that you know if I've got dirty hands or whatever I can still grip so that's that's pretty cool and that's a, a good selling point for me um, other than that <coughs> um, I guess you know uh, affordability um, you know that's that's a key thing and I, I guess some kind of durability um, you know I was thinking about the the old Savinelli 320 which is quite a chunky sort of pipe but again that that is ticks all the boxes and that would be another sort of uh, probably uh, favorite of mine plus those little bent apples that I've got from uh, Dr Plum and 
and Carey and, and lots of other people make those. So I guess I guess those kind of elements really, rusticated, compact, uh, carryable, um, uh, you know, are the, the kind of things that I'm looking for. Anyway, Dan, um, well done on the, the 200 subs, really like your videos. Um, they're very entertaining, they're very well filmed and uh, you know, uh, keep up the, the good work and hope you get, you know, more subs after this. So, um, the sun's coming up. Uh, I can't even see the screen now, but <laughs> this is early in the morning, folks. Uh, it's quite quite stunning out here. Uh, I've been sort of amongst all the, the trees and the plants and everything. So, uh, cheers, Dan. Uh, good luck with the uh, competition and uh, take care.